We are back with our Ask the Doctor segment. You can call in to our phone lines at 334-420-9732 to ask your medical question to Dr. Brian Sellers. Dr. Sellers, thanks for staying with us. We're gonna go straight back to the phone lines. We have Tim in Prattville. Tim, go ahead with your question. Yeah, I've had diabetes probably 30 years. And uh, I'll be walking, just walking across the floor out in the yard or something, and my legs will just quit working. What's going on, I reckon? I have three or four more little doctors, and nobody can tell me nothing. Really? Um, so when you say your legs quit working, do they cramp or hurt or get fatigued? What what happens? Describe it a little bit more detail for me. They just quit working. I, they don't never cramp, don't hurt. Like is I said, I'll be the, just be walking the across the yard or, or something. In the Sure. Is it from the hip down or is it mostly in the calf? Where does it give out on you, Tim? Because they just quit working and I fall on the floor, the ground, the floor, or whatever, man. Okay. Okay. And I have you a certainly need to have that. A heart sure. doctor. You certainly need to have that. that evaluated and addressed. Falling is not, not good. We can't have that. So, from no, my perspective, had... somebody with diabetes, uh, one of the things we worry about with the blood flow is that their legs do get tired and they give out. It would be to check their check their blood flow in their legs and make sure that's adequate. Make sure that that's not part of the problem. Um, short of that, you know, probably they need to have somebody check your back and make sure there's not a pinched nerve in your back or any disc herniation that's that uh, is causing causing abnormal uh, neurologic function of your legs. Uh, there there are quite a few things that can be worked up and see if we can find a find a cause for that for you. Good luck to you, Tim. We hope you can find the source of the issue. Let's go to Jeannie in Tuskegee now. Jeannie, what's your question for Dr. Sellers? If you will, mute your television for us. Hi, Dr. Sellers. Thank you so much for this spot that you're doing. I think a lot of older people do not have a perception of their circulatory kind of um, thing. And... Um, since I'm in my 70s, um, of late, I'm beginning to feel less than a positive circulatory thing in my legs, like leg cramps, cramps at, le at night. Um, I have no heart problems. I'm not diabetic. Can you give me any kind of kind of concept of what I might sort of should have look at? Right. So a good place to start is with your primary care doctor to, to evaluate if there's any, any perfusion issues or blood flow related issues to the legs. A physical examination gives you a lot of information. You know, can you feel the pulses in the groin? Can you feel the pulses in the feet? If you can feel them, are they normal? Are they weak? Um, are the pulses not there? Uh, that's really the, the big place to start. And if the pulses are normal and your primary care doctor can feel them easily, then you probably don't have any significant arterial issues as far as the blood flow to your legs. Now, cramping at Except night is one of those symptoms. Old age. That can, well, I, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> but the, uh, that's all right, honey. The, you got to own it. Right. Well, and that's, and that's unfortunate. That is part of the aging process. Is, is, as much as people don't like it, it's sometimes it's harder to do the things you could do when you were younger, and that's part of the process that we all have to go through. Um, but certainly a, a good physical examination is, a good, is, is the best place to start. I'd have your primary care doctor check your legs, check the pulses. If you'd like for us to do that, we're happy to do that as well. But that's, that's, that's the best place to start is just having somebody look at your legs and have a good conversation with you to, to kind of elicit the symptoms. You know, as far as diagnosing you on the, on the phone or on this venue, uh, it'd be hard to do that. Um, I know, but thank you so much for yes, what you do for elderly people because they never think about this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Jeannie, thank you for calling. Dr. Seller, thanks for joining us. If someone wants to reach out to your office, what's the best way to do that? Sure. Our phone number is 334-246-4774. Thanks again for joining us. We appreciate your time. Yes, ma'am. Take care.